When light passes through from one medium to another, it actually changes direction instead of passing through straight. As a result, the image can either be shifted or distorted. For example, when you look at a pencil that is half submerged in a glass of water, you notice it appears distorted. It does not appear straight. This phenomenon is called refraction. A rectangular prism, also called a glass lab, is a three-dimensional shape with six phases. All the phases of the prisms are rectangles. Let's view the rectangular prism from the top. This is how it is often represented. When a light ray passes through a rectangular slab, it is incident on two surfaces that are in contact with A. Let's call the first surface A and the second surface B. The light ray incident on surface A as well as B. As a result, two refractions occur. Let's draw the vertical lines at the point where the light incidents on the two surfaces. These two lines are called normals. Let's call the normals N1 and N2. I is the incident angle and R is the refracted angle at surface A. Since N1 is parallel to N2, with refracted ray as the transversal, we see that R is the incident angle at surface B. At B, E is the refracted angle, which is also known as the emergent angle. The emergent ray is parallel to the incident ray. We can prove this using Snell's law. To understand Snell's law, we must have a little introduction on refractive indices. The refractive index of any medium is a number that describes the speed of light in that medium. This number is dimensionless and is the ratio of the speed of light in vacuum to the speed of light in that medium. Let the refractive index of a medium be n and the speed of light in that medium be v. The speed of light in vacuum is c. According to the definition of refractive index, n equals v over c. Consider this picture. Here, we see that the light is traveling from medium 1 to medium 2. Medium 1 has a refractive index N1 with a speed of light in the medium as V1. Medium 2 has a refractive index N2 with a speed of light in the medium as V2. We see that the incident ray PO does not travel in a straight line. It refracts to form OQ. The incident angle is theta 1 and the refracted angle is theta 2. Snell's law is expressed mathematically as follows. Let's come back to the rectangular prism. From Snell's law, we know that sine i over sine r equals n2 over n1 at surface A. Sine r over sine e equals n1 over n2 at surface B. The right-hand side of the equation at A and B are reciprocal of each other. Hence, multiplying them will give us the following. Counseling sin r on the left-hand side, we get sin i over sin a, which equals 1. Therefore, sin i equals sin a. i is therefore equals to a. In conclusion, the emergent ray of a rectangular prism is parallel to the incident ray. The angles can be calculated using a protractor. I will be using Marvin Up Lab to illustrate this. You can download the app at www.marvinup.com. As you can see here, the protractor is placed on the surface where light ray passes through the prism. It is graduated from 0 to 180 degree by 10 degree increments. In this example, the angle of incidence to the normal is 5 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10, which equals 35 degrees. Therefore, the angle is 35 degrees. Let's take a quiz. The angle of incidence to the normal is 10 plus 10 plus 10, which equals 30 degrees. Therefore, the angle is 30 degrees. The angle of incidence to the normal is 5 plus 10 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 which equals 85 degrees. Therefore, the angle is 85 degrees. 
You can guess what this angle is. It is 30 degree. To continue the quiz and to simulate physics experiments virtually, visit our website at www.marvinov.com to download Marvinov Physics Lab. Link in the description below. Don't miss a video. Click the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified when we drop a new video.